river crossing is an essential skill for animals in this area. As one slight misjudgment can land them in trouble. The little macaque loses his way in the rapids. Take a closer look at the rapids. Amid the vapor and waves, here they are. Wait a second. Another perfect dive. The crashing rapids trap plenty of oxygen to ensure that the fish can breathe at high altitudes. Endemic to the upper Yangtze River Basin, these cold water fish are called Schizothorax pernanti and Schizothorax dividi, but both are known as Yayu in Chinese in their native city, Ya'an. They are on their way to the same destination, a deep pool in which they can spend the winter. Connecting with a tributary of the Yangtze River, this river runs through the Minshan Mountains. The rugged terrain makes the journey upstream even harder for the fish. The school of Yayu encounters a new threat. The brown dipper digs its head underwater. Bored with eating insects, it scans for a surprise. Despite its typical forest bird appearance, it despises the rapids without webbed feet. It dives into the water and comes ashore nimbly. Most of the macaques have reached the other side by their own means, except for this little guy. The roaring rapids drown out his cry for help. Someone responds eventually, and a young male stands out. There are two of them. Each stands on either side of the river and wants the little one to join him. The boy summons up some courage and manages to find a way. Little does he know that he has already become a trophy. Male macaques are on the move. Everyone tries to bring the baby to the patriarch to gain favor. The poor youngster is snatched again and again. Luckily, there are enough newborns left untouched in the family. Their growth ensures that the troop has long-lasting harmony. It takes another decade for the Yayu to mature and grow half a meter long provided there are no setbacks. And the dense forest, a greedy predator watches.